Hi, I'm Jesse. This is the Amsterdam Pipe Museum. And my first pipe was a Missouri Meerschaum pipe. I bought it for 15 euros at an old cigar store. And I smoked it with a lot of fun. I see this pipe often praised for its smoking qualities and its uh, ability to bring out a very neutral tobacco taste. But rarely does anyone talk about its cultural history. Today we're doing that. Hi, I'm Jesse. This is the Amsterdam Pipe Museum. Welcome. Rural boys in the south of the United States often smoked the silky leaves of corn as a substitute to tobacco. And someone would have probably come up with the idea to make a pipe out of the hard cob of corn. But it took until 1872 till one man did it. On a certain day, a farmer came to a wood turner named Henry Tibbe uh, and asked him whether he could make a pipe out of a dried out corn cob and apply a stem. And Tibbe did with great success. And he kept the couple in his own shop and they started to sell quickly. Now, Henry Tibbe was a Dutch man. He came uh, from the city of Enschede after his business burned down and he settled in the city of Washington in the American state Missouri. Now this pipe became a huge success. The business grew, he patented the pipe and in 1878 he exhibited the pipe under the name Missouri Meerschaum in Brussel, Europe. Now, this pipe, is, the, the name is kind of a joke name. Uh, Missouri, of course, indicating to its origin and Meerschaum indicating to a very expensive material, um, but also to a very porous material. And this pipe was very porous too. It absorbed a lot of moisture, especially when you applied plaster. When you make a corncob pipe, it, is, it has a very rough exterior. But when you apply plaster, uh, it suddenly become a lot smooth, uh, smoother and uh, easier to hold in the hand. But it also starts to absorb moisture a lot better. Touch this pipe is very good for uh, having a very dry smoke. Uh, in a period of less than 100 years, the company conquered the entire world. Uh, many different models were made in that period, especially in the 1960s, for example, this bulldog model or this plastered model with bamboo or something that you might be familiar with a MacArthur uh, pipe which is one large piece of corn talking about one large piece of corn these pipes were produced by cutting a hard corn cob which was dried for several years into one, into two or three pieces. After that, several holes were drilled and the pipe was plastered. They were made from a special kind of corn called collier, which is uh, found in the south of the United Sp uh, States, especially in the state of Missouri. Now, after tobacco use declined, the uh, the amount that uh, the company could produce declined too. Nowadays, it only produces a couple thousand a day uh, or a week. And prices have increased. But still, it's a very nice piece of history with a bit of a Dutch flavor to it. Uh, and it's a, it's a very memorable product to have at home and smoke out of. I thank you for watching. This is Jesse from the Amsterdam Pipe Museum and we hope to see you in the next one.